podcasting. So, um, hi. Hello. Uh, and we are just peoples. slowly getting ready. I should have a chat somewhere. I think, I don't even think I can see this thing. Well, the bot has not yet. Oh, there we go. The bot has registered that I've gone live. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm sure you happened. have noted the new changes uh, I've made to some places on Discord. But I'll go into more detail on that later. Someday. If I remember to do it. Uh, I guess I should tweet. Because I've not prepared a tweet. Um, what do I write in the tweet, guys? Uh, end Let's of see. year, uh, 2018, a year in review. Cut uh, talk. <laughs> well, th this is uh, in reverse. <laughs> Why would you reverse it? Huh? <clears throat> um, I hope you guys are also connected to chat. Yes, that w that would be greatly appreciated if you could be connected to chat during. You you mean the uh, the the um Twitch, the Twitch chat. chat Twitch chat chat ah. of the Twitch. You you don't have to be watching the podcast. I I just I, I would just like to have you in chat at least. Um. And so. Uh, click, click, done. Uh, no, I don't want here. It was what? Right. Many animo. Um, let's see. Chandra Bros. Open Mic Podcast 2018. A year in review. Um, the mail I got from Twitch <clears throat> says "poofing pirates." Sure, and that's not from today. My title says what? "Poofing pirates." Sure, but that's not actually what it says. It's just what I got in the email. <laughs> it's dumb. Wait, you still get email notifications? Yes, I still have that on. <laughs> okay, I turned them off ages ago because I was annoyed getting double notifications through the app. I don't have that problem because I have a thing to talk about because my parents are amazing. Well, you have highlighted the amazingness of your parents already, so... Um... Well, well, this is a different kind of amazing. The other kind of amazing was just, oh my god, my parents are so goddamn helpful because my foot doesn't work. Um, this is, yeah, oh my god, my parents are footing. amazing because I have a phone that... The, with very very little space on it so it was like for my birthday in like a month i would really like like a new phone a samsung phone with more space on it and then for my dad's birthday yesterday my parents were like here's an s9 oh it's an early birthday oh. gift and my brain was like oh what the what that's a decent phone i guess I'm not the type to use a decent phone. I'm the type to use an okay phone and be like, I don't need more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I need to update my phone for like five years or whatever. Which reminds me when I got my first uh, smartphone. Oh, I went yeah. from a uh, Nokia 3310 to a uh, dual core smartphone. <laughs> uh But uh, I can see that my old phone now kind of needs a uh, small update. Oh, I find it's old now, the, the old S5. That does it sound is, a little bit old. <laughs> it, it is kind of. I mean, I have the exact same phone. I Just think bought a little later than mine, but sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still a decent phone, though. 
I still need to finish that one with you. Uh, anime. Which ones? Megalobox. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. I forgot we even started, dude. Wow. Wait. What? I don't think I ever caught on to the fact that there's a, um... Hero Aka movie? There was. I, I never, never got around to watching it. I'm like, what? I don't remember that being a thing. <laughs> well, I've almost constructed this tweet. Do the tweetings. <sighs> Darling in the Franks is far too popular for what it is. It's so dumb. Well, actually, the the f like then again, it is Studio half, Trigger. So. The the first half is actually pretty good. Yeah, like the first half is pretty good, but from there it just goes dumb. <laughs> well, it, I wouldn't say it goes directly to dumb. It goes to slightly kind of boring, and then it goes dumb. It slippery slopes super hard into dumb. Like, it goes so far dumb, it's like, what? Like, how did, how did you connect these things? Why did you do this? Sticky tags. That's not a good idea. <laughs> no, but That's Darling in the Franks idea. did it, kind of. I mean, you're not wrong, but it's not a good idea. <laughs> Oh. Uh, many things, many things. Well, I've quoted the thing. Wait, Overlord thing. season three is light novel type? What the what? Well, in general, um, the Overlord is light novel. I was fairly convinced. Oh, it's because they... Right, it's because uh, Boku Hero also is uh, manga and stuff, so they basically go, what is the source material we made this anime from? Yes. I didn't think that was the case. I was like, light novel, that, that doesn't seem right. Yeah. Time to do the community promotion stuff. Do that. Do it so hard. To all the community. That's that's a lot of people I'll have to do. Yep. Oh right, that was that that was an anime. <laughs> Killing bites. It was pretty stupid. You you know you're kind of ruining the subject we had on for later. Oh. Uh... Just saying. <laughs> He's killing it. Quite Aww. literally. I He's like a new slasher movie, but it's on Discord and Twitch. And it's not a movie. It's a wow, podcast. I, I feel very hurt that you would compare me to a slasher movie. <laughs> also, none of this was, like, intentionally spoilering anything or such. I'm just no, saying, no, wow, no, this no, thing it's was just, dumb. It's just... I mean, I did post a a order of things on on Discord. If you I didn't know, notice, we'll get there. <laughs> I mean, we haven't really started yet. That's why I'm like, eh. Yeah, but we are live. I know. Hello. Anyone out there? <laughs> I. <laughs> uh, um... And then he went Danish again. Well, sometimes you have to Danish. I agree. Danish is a very tasty. Is a very tasty? Danishes are very tasty. Well, they tend to be. They don't have to be.
Okay, I have constructed the community promotion. And I'm gonna, gonna throw it out there because... Oh, right, I have to... Uh, when we do the anime thing, I have to bring up something. Yo, no, start with the ticket. When we get to it, I said? <laughs> yeah, that's what you said last time. Da, da, da. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I like how that was literally how you started talking about anime last time. <laughs> last time when? Um, let's see. Uh, what is it? Twelve minutes ago now. Me. Ah, server. Hmm. What are you serving? I'm serving uh, a server that keeps on being turned off. Okay. But next year is going to. I plan on having an up 24 7. Okay. Isn't that going to be great? Uh, yes. Reminds me at some point in time I need to show you guys my exam project. I don't know why the end of that sentence sound like you were doing a bit from Portal as Gladys. What? <laughs> no, I'm seriously very confused about that. Sometime later, I have to show you a bit of my exam project. I didn't say it like that. <laughs> no, you didn't, but but the end sentence had had perfect Gladys cadence, which I cannot pull off. Like for three words you were you, you were very Gladys. Like like not not um not not um what's it called? Audio yeah. wise. God freeze <laughs> <laughs> What what you do freeze? What uh, Okay, so uh, that's that's a reference to Firefall, and oh. there's a snob dealing out quests, and he's like, every time he finishes a sentence, he's like, yeah, so, uh. and every time he starts a sentence, it's also a bit like that, and it's, it's, the whole point is that he's a snob, and you're supposed to hate him because he makes you do his dirty work, but the rewards from him are are... When you are at that level, they're the best kind of rewards you can get. So you're like, well, um, I might as well do this. But... Sure. <laughs> and uh, when th there was a point in Firefall where you could bug out the quests, if you turned in a quest the moment, uh, I mean, if you turned in a quest and took a new quest out the moment you you um, finished the, the old one, you could um, force it to actually repeat the same quest and repeat the same reward and you could if you had a very very short quest actually finish that in seconds start a new one and and that would also sort of bug out the sentence uh the the whole structure of of how the quest is wording so, worded so we'd have we, we heard that that um that that um yeah thing a lot for a while <laughs> And and let's not get forget about Terra Online's and their warlocks that says lock all the time. That's a good way to make really annoying characters. <laughs> yeah, especially when it fills up um what's it called chat. Ugh. Because they don't have um they, they, they are not programmed audio wise. Yeah, that sounds annoying. Uh, well, I haven't told you how I'm going to do the intro, so now I'm just going to do it. When I have updated the title. 
if I could figure out where I put my title because of course I I had it all those and then I closed it. I added no music to this one because I wanted it to be clean. Uh oh well. And robot That was not what I wanted to do. Can't I? I guess this is what I'm doing. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome to the Chanda Bros op Open Mic Podcast. I'm Enigma Solovar, and this year is at its end. Tonight with us, we have Katal and Freeze. I will open up the channel in just a few moments. Um, it's been a bit of a weird year for me in many ways, um, and in general, it's been... A really weird year, especially when the fires of, of 2017 subsided. So, yeah, it, it's pretty much been, been a weird one. Um, either way, hello and welcome to the podcast, Freaks and Katal. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, 2018, what do you think? It's been a very, very wild year for me. Like I, um, I applied for university. I uh, started university. I've been sort of stressed about university, and um, yeah, here December twelfth, I uh, I twisted my ankle. So uh, that was fun. Not. S so twenty eighteen is summoned up in an ankle twist and university. And a lot of stress and worrying <laughs> about university, yes. Okay. Please, how's your 2018 uh, been? More work. The more work? Okay. Well, I've just been pretty much just working. Um, so, uh... So you've been a peon? Yeah, yeah. Work, work. Kinda. And, Very uh, work. I, I'm, I'm happy for my work. It's, it's fun. And uh, also, I'm having fun with my server and stuff like that. So interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Well, as I said, 2018 has been a bit of a weird year for me. I'm still looking for a job as it is, and well, it's um, it's not really gone anywhere. Um, I think my, uh, what's it called, um, uh, what do you call it again? The, the person at the local commune center, uh, wants me to start education again. And she's like, well, you gotta find something you can, um, what's it called, uh, expand your current education from. And, uh, I've looked into that. What do you think I can do? I mean, make make a make a, make an unqualified guess on what do you think I can do with my current education in a, in, in its current state? Uh, nothing. Yes, nothing. It's um, I mean, before you could take uh, what was it, um, math B level, which I tried a year ago, and kind of didn't, kind of failed doing. It's and hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and, well, I ended up not completing it. And now I'm sort of caught in the net because now I can't expand my education anywhere. So uh, where do I go with that? Where do I, where do, I do with that? 
good question. I don't know. I, I realized something. I'm just going to quietly move all of you. I know we should have done this before the podcast, but, you know, pro streamer and all that. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm stuck still looking for, for a job, as it is. Best of luck with that. Thank you. I will definitely need it. Um, what else has happened in 2018 that was sort of special for me? Um, we started doing charity, actually. Or, um, what's it called? Um, a special Effect, uh, which is a um, charity for people with disabilities. Uh, to help them become, or rather achieve, no, that's not the word, in order to help them um, get a gear that will help them um, play video games. Um, an example would be that uh, a person got, like, through special effect, they gave him a, a joystick because he couldn't play it with mouse and keyboard. And the joystick made him able to actually play Elite Dangerous, which, which he wanted for a long time. So that's one of that. That's the thing Special Effect does. Um, what else? Uh, it's been the first year of uh, affiliate ship with Twitch, sometime back in October. And uh, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it for, for what's happened of notable things in in two thousand eighteen. I vaguely covered what's been important in my 2018, but I also had a very impressive uh, vacation with my dad last summer. Okay. Um, we went, uh, what's it called again? Uh, basically, we took a very big cruise on uh, the Donau River in Europe. Okay. And um, it was very, very hot this summer. So uh, Yeah, you don't say the summer was smoldering even in Denmark. Even in Denmark, it was even hotter where I was. Um, <laughs> that wasn't oh, very God. funny, but it it was uh, it was very interesting to have that vacation. Um, we basically, uh, yeah, it was a week, and we um, went down to Budapest and to um, Prague and a couple of other countries down there. Uh, well, cities, uh, but we went through the countries uh, with the boat. Um, it was. Very interesting. Sadly, we didn't get to experience a whole lot in the various uh, specific places. Um, oh, right. And uh, we um, went by uh, Vienna and uh, we actually um, experienced a Vienna concert with uh, classical music, which was uh, which was something special. <laughs> okay. Um, well, at least you can say that you know what Prague is all about. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Oh. <laughs> uh. Other interesting things that have happened. I started university where um, we have social things in student organizations, including one that makes uh, board game night stuff and RPG night stuff. So I have actually, for the first time in my life, uh, had some fun playing Dungeons and Dragons and a couple of other things which was very good. That's a fun. Okay. Well, you got to experience Dungeons and Dragons at least, finally. Yeah, that, that took a while. <laughs> <laughs> mm. How about you, Fries? Uh, this year, well, um, I haven't really been doing much else than working um and uh well i've been to uh genki Khan, but uh <laughs> that's the small stuff uh enemy con for people that likes that stuff <laughs> um that was fun uh now that I've moved to uh, to farm, uh, that's uh, 
That's the thing I can do. But uh, unfortunately, Genki Gun is not going to be in farm this next year, oh. which I'm kind of sad about. But I'd love to visit you over there at some point in time and see where it is. But next year again, they will return to farm. Something Ooh. about they made too much noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been varying levels of exciting for us this year. You don't say. Um, so what about games? Have any of you had interesting new games that came out and and you played during the course of 2018? Oh my, oh my. Uh... <laughs> You can you you can talk about a game if it, if DLC or something or update came out for it in 2018. There are a couple of things, and uh, I think I'm going to save the big one for last. Okay. Um, Iconoclasts came out in January, which was uh, pretty good. It's basically a Metroidvania type game. Um, pr pretty good game. Like um, neat pixel graphics and and such. I liked it. Uh, very good. Um, what's it called? Uh, Hollow Knight had its uh last question mark um DLC uh free DLC come out uh at some point in time it should get uh another big uh new character and stuff and uh, that was uh pretty okay to rev to revisit but uh the new stuff is just super hard so I didn't really do a lot of that. Um, what else have happened this year? Um, um, Monster Hunter World. I was going to get to that. Okay. Um, Yoku's Island Express is a really, really weird game. I quite like it. Uh, it's basically a weird fusion between ping pong. Well, not ping pong. Um, what are they called again? Um... Volleyball? No, let me just look up that kind of uh, pinball. Ah. Basically a mix between pinball, pinball and um, a Metroidvania game. And it's pretty good. Like, it's not amazing, but if you can get it for cheap, it's totally worth it. It's very adorable. So is it Pinballvania? I wouldn't say that. Um, but I suppose you could say that. Uh, I just wouldn't do that personally. Um, I don't remember when Owl Boy came out on uh, PC. I found That's it here. Sixteen. So not this year. I'm um, Owl Boy PlayStation Four and Xbox in April. Yeah, but that's uh, not PC, but. No. Uh, I don't remember if it was this year or last year, but I played that. It was okay too. Like, mm -hmm. not the best. It had a lot of issues, but it, it was I okay. I had a really good time with Owl Boy. It was it was phenomenal in many ways, if you ask me. It's certainly not a bad game, but it just had a lot of bits and bobs that I didn't really enjoy too much. Mm -hmm. um, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon came out, and. Uh, that was okay. It's not really my type of game because it basically it tries to um, run on the whole nostalgia feeling people had for Castlevania 2 II and 1 back in the day. Um, and those games are just not really me. They're too yeah. annoying to control, basically. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, what else did we have this year? Nintendo Labo came out in April. What what do you think about the whole Labo idea with cardboard and and such? I don't know how to feel about that personally. Yeah, it's it's quite a weird one if you ask me. I'm like, yeah, sure, it has that Nintendo charm, but from what I can see, most people who got into the whole cardboard the the whole deal was like, well, now we've made all these kits. What do we do with it now? I think Nintendo's idea was that you were sort of 
get the kits and the kits would inspire you to sort of go out of your way and and um you know create weird cardboard uh, contraptions and people have indeed uh, created you know things um with with uh, Nintendo Labo that are you know either a little weird or interesting like like someone actually made um a a feasible version of a guitar i think um i saw someone make what was it again um it was it was something something uh, handy in day to day life, um, but of course because it's cardboard, it would it would break apart fast. Yeah, um, sadly. The I, I um, think the whole idea with Labo was that it would it would be you know sort of an idea to 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 start up and and make things out of cardboard because sometimes you can actually make some some decent kind of things like i think someone made an entire hotas set and i believe there was already a uh what's it called a like um a pre-built um um hotas set inside uh labo which was sort of shown but i think there were no manuals for it or anything mm. so it was just like a suggestion to to what you could build sort of and and it seemed I mean very much like a gamble to me when mm -hmm. they did it. Like <clears throat> this is a very weird, interesting thing. Maybe it will hit a sweet spot and maybe it will just fall flat mm -hmm. on its face and they didn't know. Yeah. I mean it, apparently they they it, it did make its money back. But really? I also yeah, uh, but I also think that the, the whole kit and stuff is um it's very expensive to buy but it's very cheap to make probably yes yeah guess what came out on the same day as nintendo labo i have no idea god of war oh right <laughs> that that it did yeah that it did <clears throat> And uh, guess what came out four days later? And uh, it's re very weird for a Nintendo release. Uh, I don't remember that. Gale, Gale, a uh, Gal Gun Two. Ew. <clears throat> That's a weird <laughs> yeah. one, all right. Um, um, um you, it's apparently a shooter where you run around and and um, shoot cute girls with love. I have no idea. Yeah, I remember seeing a video on it. It it sounds like thing. that one episode from uh, from um, what's it, or, or that two three episodes from um, what's it called? Game uh, no, no game, game no, game no life. life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fleets was right on it. It's basically that, uh, except yeah. it's not virtual reality. Yeah. Uh, South Park, uh, the fractured butt hole is um it came out on the, on the same day as well on nintendo switch oh i was like that didn't come out this year oh on switch yeah sure i'm just <laughs> looking through this list here um uh, i actually have a couple more to mention um what? back in august guacamelee 2 came out oh right and, yeah uh, we we enjoyed that quite a bit playing that together in the stream and youtube and, uh, and the first one Yes, the first one. And uh, I, I certainly like the second. Uh, it's actually gotten a DLC since then that I haven't tried with some hmm. uh, challenging stuff. Um, but I quite like that, and it was really weird being an actual fighting chicken. Yes, that okay. is something you can be in that game. It, it sounds really weird, but it actually works somehow. Okay. Um, and there's a game I haven't played yet. I haven't even bought it, but I do want to get to it at some point. Uh, Dead Cells? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, one of my friends um, gifted me Dead Cells. It's really good. I, I like it a lot. I've heard I think so I many streamed good things like, about it. I think I was only supposed to stream four hours, and I was like, how, how, did, how did six hours happen? <laughs> how did six hours happen? Where did my hours go? I good was supposed question. to sleep. But no. Well, now you addicted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. However, I, I I put it 
instead of Fury in the um, in the hard games category. Uh, so mm. I'll only play it on um, what's it called on um, Sundays. Or uh, maybe I'll play it on more days. We'll see. If you get that feel. <laughs> yes. But it was good. It's it it is definitely a hard game. I can definitely see where the Dark Souls comparison come from. Yeah. Um let's uh, see. Return of the Obra Din also came out. I haven't played it. I have no idea what that is. Uh Return of the Obra Din is basically a puzzle game. Um it's by the same guy who made uh, Papers, Please. Um, and Return of the Obra Dinn, you're basically an investigator or something for a um, an insurance company. And you have to figure out how all the people on uh, the Obra Dinn, which is a really old ship, uh, died and how they did so um, to figure out how much uh, people are supposed to be paid back and whatnot. And you do this through uh, dialogue and um, basically the last moment in people's lives, like the moment they were killed. Um, you get to those by finding their corpses and then using your magical pocket watch that basically uh, gives you a little bit of dialogue, a little bit of text, and then um, that snapshot of their life. Um, and you sort of have to pick pieces out and figure out how to put them together. Uh, which sounds really cool, but I don't personally have the patience for that. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else came out? Um, I just want to ne mention it because um, what's uh, what, what's it called? Yahtzee uh, made the uh, funny version of the name. Uh, but it came to Xbox in on June twenty sixth. Um, Near on Tomato. I knew that was going to be it. That's like, yes, Near on Tomato. It is. Uh... Um, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy made it to uh, Windows, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox. In yeah, June. it did. And people had a weird time with it because sort of some of the hitboxes and whatnot was changed. Well, uh, of course, it's a more modern game and they made it from the bottom up. They didn't actually make a port or or use... Well, I guess they sort of used the old one, old stuff for, for um, reference. Reference, yeah. But I think they could have done with tweaking things a little bit more maybe because there were a couple of places that really pissed people off with how awkward and slippery some of the things felt okay um and spyro reignited trilogy also came out oh, to yeah, uh, yeah. playstation 4 and xbox yeah um I, ho I hope i don't know if it's been announced yet i don't think it have but i hope it will come to a pc it will it will definitely have to come to pc for me to play it Mm. I can't pick up an entire PlayStation 4 just to play one game. Go away. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm probably not going to pick it up because I like my memories of the old one. Um, um, what so, I've yeah. heard from the fans of, of Spyro is that Reignited Trilogy is really, really good. Like, they kept uh, most of it actually... Um, actually very true to its original form they have changed and some, some of the things. characters were changed graphically and their voices and whatnot and they just seem really really wrong now honestly i i look at uh i, I look at the original and i look at like i saw thala play the entire um spyro uh trilogy the original one uh on his stream and I was like, yeah, this is this is this is feasible. There's some points where I'm like, hm, 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 hm. definitely haven't aged well. And I'm like, people who complain about the voice acting and and stuff like that, I I I don't agree uh, with it. I'm like, reignited trilogy is uh, is a lot more perfect than um, that than a lot of people say it is. Like, oh yeah, sure, definitely. But 
as one who grew up with the original Spyro and such, it's just... Hmm. It feels a little bit wrong to me because it infringes on the part of me that's yeah very t- much tied to my childhood and that just I, feels a little bit wrong i unfortunately didn't have uh the spyro games when i was younger i oh, mean i rough. got i i got a nintendo 64 really late in its uh in its uh, life cycle and i had maybe what two or three games for it i think i never had a nintendo machine i was in playstation mm-hmm. until but that's i got like... an xbox 360 but whatever <clears throat> I owned, uh, I think the first gaming-ish device I owned was a PC, a a Windows 95 PC. And I played Lego Racer on that. (laughs) And the first, like, um, gaming device that I owned for myself that I didn't have to share with, you know, the rest of the family was a Game Boy. I don't remember which ver- which version of Windows I played on originally. Uh, I had ninety five because uh, it could uh, it it could play Jazz Jack Rabbit and uh, Commander Keen. I remember that we had ninety five, we had ninety, and we had two thousand. But I don't remember which one of them I started playing games on. Okay. Um. That's a bit of a weird thing to remember. Um, I remember the first first game I played. I know we're delving into to to more not 2018 here, but the first <laughs> game I played was like Jazz Jack Rabbit, and it was the demo. And I played that demo to death because that was the game I had, and I flippin' enjoyed it. And the music uh, was remember. awesome, and it still I remember is. The old, uh... The old demos on uh, PC and PlayStation 1 and whatnot. You just had a disc and you had like 50 or 20 or whatever demos <laughs> on. And they were just silly, like one mini game or something. Or one or two levels of a game or whatever. Back when demos... Great b- b- back then, demos was the only way they could reach an audience. Pretty much. And you had a great time just playing those two things or whatever. Yeah, like I think there was actually a couple of demos. I thought that this is the full game. <laughs> okay, um... that was so dumb. It was a great time though, and you ended up knowing those two, three levels or whatever it was for that one game. To death. Like, yeah, exactly. You just knew them inside and out, and you just mm, that was good. Um. Anyway, back to uh, 2018. Darksiders <laughs> yeah. 3 also came out. and um, No, Darksiders Remastered came out. That too. But Darksiders I'm, 3 I'm a, has also come out. I didn't, I, I didn't hear the words. I was thinking Dark Souls, and I'm like, Dark Souls Remastered came out. <laughs> words. But yeah, the Darksiders. <laughs> That's... Man. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> This is your fault, Katal. It's not my fault you can't hear what I say. It's very dark. Words are hard. We established this. We always do. That's like become our meme at this point. I mean, it is our not meme meme. I'll turn it into a shirt one day. Oh my... <laughs> I... And it'll just be our faces like... Words no, are hard. No. We established this. Like that, like the faces, splash, don't use the faces. splash art of our faces. Like words are hard. We established this. Don't don't do the splash art with the faces. Just don't include the faces. The text is fine. Doesn't need more. <laughs> It'll just be plain white text on a black T-shirt. Oh, it could have some iconography. That's fine. Just not our faces. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> it would be so dumb to run around with my face on a shirt or whatever. Well, it would mostly oh. just be the outline like we have on the podcast right now. Yeah, but it would still be... But not that square. Weird. Yeah, it's very square on the podcast. <laughs> wow. Uh. Um, but yeah, Darksiders 3. Um, I, I originally intended to buy and play it. I'm not so certain now. Like, I don't know if I want to spend the money on it. I am still uh, going to buy and play it. Um, but I will... Wait until it gets uh, cheaper in price. 
uh, on a sale or something like that. Uh, I've are good. I've heard both good and bad things about um, the the whole um, uh, well about Darksiders three, and the primary complaint is that the the game is pretty much just retreading uh, you know story from uh, Darksiders one and two, and it's hard to figure out that wh- where you actually are in the story uh, at most points, like. You you're definitely somewhere in between Darksiders, um, the the prologue in Darksiders one and the actual game in Darksiders one, and you're definitely somewhere in between the prologue of of Darksiders two, but maybe not, and you're maybe also somewhere on the other side of 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 the end of Darksiders one. Um, but also, really you may be somewhere entirely different because apparently, uh, war has been, yeah, major spoiler. War has been, um, uh, what's it called, uh, imprisoned for uh, shattering the seal. So that's either during basically after the intro bit of um, the first game, or or it's well, it after the, the the end bit of the first game. I really doubt that because that's basically when the um, horsemen gather and they probably go fuck shit up. Um, but at the start, Words, it's like, I, yeah, I realized I was like, oh yeah, I did it dumb, but I tried to ignore it. Um, but at the start of the game, you're like, oh, why are there demons and angels everywhere? This is bad. And then you get blamed for uh, breaking the seals and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Oh right, God of War came out this year too. Um, I think I said that like fifteen minutes ago. Or so you might have like it's entirely possible that I just completely missed it or I forgot it and they brought it up again. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Um. Oh right, um, Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World is a thing. Yeah, I might be a little bit addicted. Like, that game is very good. It's very good. Okay, like, well, I, I I bought it, but I haven't actually gotten around to playing it yet. And I am am at some point in time going to sit down and play some with you and try out a new weapon because so far I've I started out with the lance, and that was an okay time while I was a complete noob because it's the most offensive of the weapons. Um, but like halfway through the game ish, uh, I figured out that you know what I should just try a different weapon. So I went with the hammer, and I've learned that the hammer is probably far more my kind of thing. Uh, it's far more mobile, so I can actually avoid getting hit instead of just taking it with the shield. Um, but yeah, like I'm, I'm enjoying that a heck of a lot. Okay, it's very good, especially with friends. Um. Well, I guess I definitely have to try it. Um, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I did buy it, so I do have to have to, you know, uh, kind of, kind of play it at some point. Um. Mm. So, please, what have you spent most of your your time playing this I've year? I've been playing uh, a lot of uh, Factorio. Okay. It's it's kind of. Um, well, you're building a factory, so. But but I like the um, relaxing, just building stuff. Uh, think about how to build. Uh, that's so, that's my kind of game where I have to think. It's like a base management kind of game. Yeah, kinda. Okay. Uh, what do you build in Factorio? Uh, it's kind of just one big factory. So uh, at default, you got some iron ore, some cobble, and coal that you 
together to make uh, conveyor belt factories, uh, furnaces, furnaces to yeah. So, <laughs> so <It's... clears throat> when you start a new playthrough of Factorio, what is like? What's like the whole um, the the whole startup progress like? And that's definitely one thing I know in RTS, there's like a base progress you have to get through to get to a point where you can output units on a regular basis. Um, what, what's the, um, what is the start of progress? Like, start up. yeah, well, you, you, when you start a new playthrough, what is the first things you go through? What do you, what do you need to build in order to get the whole system going? Well, uh, the first thing is you kind of need uh, research I've been going. Uh, so we got different tiers of research. Uh, we can call it seven tiers. Uh, so first you get your first tier research. So you can uh, research um, automation where you have factories. Okay. Um, well, factories is an assembly machine. Um, then you uh, research some logistics so you can make conveyor belts, transport belts, uh, and then you uh, begin automation. <laughs> Where's the heart? Ultimus. Yeah, we established <laughs> this. <laughs> so uh, everything begins to uh, make itself instead of you are going to make it all. So you slowly making. Uh, first tier one research, then tier two, and then further up there, uh, and expand your factory like that. Okay. Also, alien dogs. Yeah, they're cute. Uh, I mean, um... <laughs> when they're not trying to eat your face, yes. Well, th there's uh, these aliens on this planet you land on, and um, the more you pollute, uh, the more uh, angry and uh, evolved they get. So uh, you also have to uh, be careful how much you uh, pollute around you. Okay. Can can you build an entire uh, quote-unquote green factory? Or are you forced to pollute uh, the planet you're on regardless? You're forced to pollute. Okay. I uh, think there are some ways to make it partially green, and if you make it small enough, you can be entirely green. But it requires that you actually get some pollution up and going first, because that's how you start. Mm -hmm. um, pollution has some dissipation rate, and uh, how much uh, pollution gets from one sector to another sector, and... There's a lot of rules about that. So if you make your base small, then um, and uh, pick up stuff that is uh, not that much polluting, you can uh, keep it very uh, your pollution area very limited. Also, trees and stuff like that helps uh, absorbing your pollution. So um building next to a forest or something like that will also help uh managing your pollution mm -hmm. uh right now i have a lot of solar power and uh accumulators that stores the energy so um i'm not really burning coal to get energy so okay. that way i'm i'm kind of uh, half green. Okay. But uh -huh. when you get close up, you cannot. Uh, when when your base is getting very big, you cannot use solar power. Uh, then you will have to go to nuclear power. Okay. But couldn't nuclear power technically be considered a form of green? Energy? <laughs> I mean, um, aren't there, like, isn't it the least polluting way? I mean, if you take um, radioactive fallout out of the sort of calculation, like, um, 
if you could store or, or uh, what's it called, uh, hide, no, that's not the word for it. If you could find a way to safely store and keep uh, the pollution from radioactive, um, fr from a nuclear power plant, wouldn't you technically have it, um, w wouldn't it technically be safer than, than coal or something? Um... Yeah, this game is kind of not going in the uh, logic way when it comes to uh, nuclear. Oh, so because, so uh, you just irradiate the whole world when you make uh, nuclear reactors? Uh, no, it's kind of it's kind of very green, if you can call it that. It's not. Uh, I, I I get. Uh, well, I can make nuclear fuel. Uh, that nuclear fuel gets turned into. Uh, uh, used nuclear fuel cell and then I can um, reprocess the used fuel cell so I can reuse it. Okay. And that way it's kind of green. Neat. Very neat. But uh, that's kind of, yeah, uh, it's, it's not totally like, well, it's, it is kind of uh, futuristic. Uh, I'm on another planet, so uh, magic, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or science. Uh, I, I'm not sure which is what. Magical science or, or science or science to call magic. I don't know. Scientific magic, probably. Thanks. Words are hard. We established this. Many times. <laughs> yeah. If we say it enough, perhaps it will become a shirt one day. I hope not. <laughs> uh, it will have words on it, so they will at least be hard. Oh my. That's a meta shirt all of a sudden. <laughs> I didn't realize that. <laughs> very meta, very short. Else, uh, we kind of started playing some uh, Minecraft. Oh yeah, right. And you actually also started streaming this year. So yeah, attempted to do it. Okay, how how are you feeling about streaming, Face? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm uh, having so much work or is, if it's just how annoying uh, setting up webcam every time uh, because settings are not uh, saved. Uh, ah, so. yeah. Uh, for me, the only setting that is not saved on the webcam is the uh, autofocus. Which is um, a little weird. Pretty much every setting is not saved on, uh, on me. So uh, okay, that's that's very weird. Do you um, have the webcam driver installed? Uh, yes. Hmm. Weird. Oh well. I was hoping I could find something in uh, PowerShell to automatically set uh, the settings, but I couldn't find something like that. Okay. So, sadly, but mm -hmm. but um, back to back back to uh, our Minecraft uh, Let's Play or well, not Let's Play uh, stream. Um, you you was like, hey, I accidentally made a Minecraft server. Do you do you want to go into that again? How how you made an accidental Minecraft server? Well, I was kind of just interesting how uh, interesting how uh, to make a new Minecraft server because uh, first time I did was many years ago and it was confusing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, today is just kind of. You you click a few places and then you got it going. So it's gotten very easy. So okay. I kind of click here and there, and then Minecraft show is running. Oops. <laughs> Oops, I did an accident. Yeah. But uh, I have some fun with my my server, and that's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. Experiment with uh, whatever server. I I could find and hey, if you want something, yeah. Um, so have we? Um, what what do you think? Do do you want to continue? Um, at least joining me on on uh, streaming. Uh, what's it called? Minecraft. Or should we just let it let it pass into the ether? 
Well, I, I would like to join more, um, uh, but uh, I've had a very busy uh, month this yeah. last month, so I haven't really have had uh, the energy to to join. Okay. Or start it up. Yeah, of course, that is uh, that is okay. That thing with real life, it's just, uh, I want to game, but real <laughs> life is just, no. Well, I think you're the one who has least free time of the three of us, Katal. Uh, I don't know if that's me or Fries, because he might actually have less time than me. Um, well, I think when he comes home from work, he's done. When you come home from school, you have home, you, you have homework. Yeah, that said, I don't really have a ton of that, and some of it I tend to just fix with my uh, course mates, like, at uni, so, eh. Okay. Hmm. Also, my actual required days in terms of um, lectures are very short. Like, uh, next semester I have two days where I'm only uh, quote-unquote required to be at uni for two hours. Okay. Very well, short days. That is a short day. Hmm. <clears throat> so. We have Please. been... Have you played anything else besides Minecraft and uh, Factorio this year? Uh, I returned shortly to Elite Dangerous. Oh. Yeah. Kinda to try it again, and uh, now that I've moved and set up my gaming uh, OTS and stuff like that, I kind of needed to, hey, how is it now, uh, and play a little bit, but it was for a few hours. Hmm. I might return next year. Okay. So let's see. But I, I'm planning on getting a new monitor and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting to see. Okay. I'm just going to look at some Twitch support here. <laughs> <laughs> because we're having um having a bit of problems it seems oh oh uh yeah the connection is uh, up and down sometimes but it seems that there are none oh well guess that means my connection is in a point where we um where we may need or rather the stream may need a restart but it seems stable now well there doesn't seem to be any issues on my end when I actually run the stream. Okay. Uh, yeah. It was just uh, my kilobytes were going up and down like crazy. Weird. And it seems like I have no, I have no connection issues. But um, there might be issues with the Twitch machine in the other end. Yeah, perhaps. Um... Either way, we, we played a bunch of games on the cast this year. Oh, yeah. We've had some decent fun. Yeah. Um, let's see if I can remember them all on top of my head, because I can't actually remember which ones we played. But I think we played Stairden. I think we played A Hat in Time. I think we played... Um, what was it? Uh, Wizard, Wizard of, Legend? of Legend. Yes. And that's about it. I think. I feel like there's supposed to be at least one or two more games on that list. For this yeah, year. I can't remember them. What would what would the other games be? I don't remember. Oh no. I mean, there was that short stint we had with um, you secretly, secret, secret making me play <laughs> um, Delta Rune. Delta Rune for like a total of what was it, like twenty minutes or something? Before yeah. I was like, yeah, I, I don't. I don't care about this at all. <laughs> F. You should you you should play Undertale at some point though. I have a very hard time getting excited about that. Why? Uh, I don't know how to explain it mostly. Okay. 
like the, the whole idea of the game and how you control it just seems very annoying and awkward to me. Mm, how is how is that annoying and awkward? It's basic two button input and arrow controls. I mean, arrow it's the keys. whole combat thing, though. It's like, oh, we keep changing things up, and you have to keep learning new things all the time, literally, in a system that's typically not made to be learn new things constantly about how you interact with things. Um, it's, you get new things to do, not, oh, not now you have to do things differently entirely. Okay. Well, I don't feel that way because the dodging mechanic is literally a um it works like a uh, what do you call it a sh schmub Shop? yeah and um, that's the dodging mechanics you just have to have to know how to dodge if you want to do the quote unquote pacifist run then uh you of course have to figure out how to talk to the monsters in order to uh, get them to either side with you or give up fighting you entirely. And sometimes you have to figure out a different quote-unquote action. There's some fights that are a little weird. Because they act out of the, uh, what's it called, out of the ordinary. I might just have hit all the things that are a little more weird than the rest, and that's what's turning me off mostly, but I don't know. Did you try Undertale? No. Okay. I've seen a bit of it played, and I've seen various bits and pieces on the internet, because it's literally impossible to avoid. Um, but no, I haven't actually played it myself. Okay. Who's the one doing the fiddly bit? Oh, sorry, that was me. Okay, that explains everything. Um, Silence. Yes, yes. Well, I'll say this much. Um, I have played both Undertale and Deltarune, and I believe I will play... I mean, I kind of wanted to play um, Undertale here between Christmas and New Year, but um, everything else didn't happen, so neither did Undertale or Deltarune, so yeah. Things happen. Yeah, they do. A lot, often. Um, and I feel like doing the D&D uh, &D meme. D&D &D meme? Which one of them? Rocks fall, everybody dies. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, firework got activated. Uh, don't huh? go away. Yeah, we have that in my area too. It's it's a little annoying. I, I can't do anything about it here either. Oh. It's a little hard to um to stop fireworks once they have started. Yeah, yeah they, they tend to just go and then they're loud and annoying. Yeah. Either way, um any move? I'm a little impressed you actually said that while we're alive. <laughs> I mean anime? Yes, that that's more what I was like. I was like, you you actually did say any move. What what what? <laughs> <laughs> it took me a moment. Yeah. Um, but yes, many good anime. Is there some like first season kind of stuff? I mean, early uh, winter two thousand eighteen that you want to highlight, or should I just take it from the top from what I saw? Uh, I mean, sure, you can start. I don't know anything that has started during winter, but there was a couple of things during um, um fall. I can't remember which ones right now, though. Uh, I have uh, opened any chart here on the Winter 2018 anime list. I just have it for the entire season, but yeah. Okay. Uh, Darling in the Franks um, started uh, January 13th. Yeah, it did. 
and uh, that's like it, it's one of the more notable entries in uh what's it called in the first season I'd, I'd say there's much else that I really watched that season I think it, th this year I've really gone back into watching anime I hadn't watched anime for perhaps one two years at that point and only watched anime for uh, anime week uh at Fleet's place really for yeah. quite a while um but darling in the franks is it's it's really weird like the the first half is super good it goes into a lot of these psychological uh aspects of being a quote-unquote teenager in a group that are sort of, you know, uh, fixed. And uh, the action is, it's quite action-packed too, as well. Like, that's, the first half is pretty much just sort of monster of the week kind of format, but also running a bit of, would you call it slice of life? Would it be uh, drama? Um... Drama. I. I get. We'll go with drama. It's what it says on the on the thing on Annie on Annie chart. Um, yeah, I, I feel like slice of life. It's too sci-fi and fantasy for that. But I mean, you can sort, sort of, of yes. You you can sort of go slice of life. I mean, you can make a futuristic slice of life anime, but it'll have to be very very life focused to be slice slice of life. That's like the whole whole shebang. Yeah, I feel like um, Slice of Life is attack. They might need to use a bit more liberally because there are a lot of animes where they're like, we have some Slice of Life elements, hmm. and then we have all the rest. But maybe, maybe we should make Slice of Life may, attack at all. Maybe one should make a separate genre called um, what's it called, Slice of Life elements. Oh, <laughs> just to fix that's, the whole in between. Oh, that's painful. Like yes, they, they it is. Just need a separate title entirely. Just when you have the whole um, action adventure combination on video games, right? Yeah. Because everything is an action adventure these days. Indeed. Uh, well, that... everything that isn't romance drama. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Or rom coms. I have no idea what a rom com really is. Romance comedy. Oh. Oh. That would make oh. sense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh um but uh, Overlord season 2 happened uh in winter. Yes, it did. And I mean it's it's still very good. I can't wait for for the next part to hopefully come out, especially because cliffhanger. I keep wanting more of it. Like Overlord is so good and the first season was very introductory and it had some cool elements and such and then the second season came around and was like oh let's just expand the world and talk about the world instead of Ainz and yeah his group i think for many it's uh, the the second season may have been a bit of a letdown because of Probably. having a main focus that was away from Ainz but i kind of like the kind of i kind of like the stepping away from the main characters all, I quote really unquote like mains. it too. Like it's very good to get an like an idea of the rest of the world and not just keep staying inside of Ainz and mm -hmm. his group and getting an inside out view of everything, so to speak. But actually getting an idea of what is this setting, this world they are in, what's it about, what are all the other characters, why are they acting the way they do? Um as opposed to always just going, well, this is a power fantasy thing. Because mm. there are a million of those. <laughs> oh, um, I can't do this fast. Hmm? Uh, I wanted to add a filter to something. Oh. The hell? Yeah, exactly my feelings. Very um, word. There we go, 75. Her um, I wanted just to take the top header of the browser, really. 
Yeah, I can see. I was like, what are you doing? Turn on the stream again. Oh, I get now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think we need to talk about Nanatsu no Taisai. That was just dumb. Uh, like, I actually saw it and it was just dumb. Let's not talk about it. I mean, if you liked the first season, uh, good on you. Uh, but their sins do not make sense at all. They went worse in the second season, if you ask me. So, yeah. Just, oh, no. God. Uh, I mean, now that we've opened the can of worms, we might as well talk about what their no, sins please, are. No. Okay. Please, no. Let's not go there. It's just so it's dumb. It's really bad. Uh, what else happened in in the winter season? There was more more Gintama, but I don't watch Gintama anymore. Grand, Kest, Grand Crest Senki. Uh, it's above uh, Mitsubishi Colors. I can't see a, a bit up, like it's two above, uh, three above Gintama. Oh, that one, yeah. Um, it's it was a thing, like it was sort of um. Uh, if you know Aslan Senki, uh, it was sort of vaguely like that. So it was kind of good, but it was also kind of really weird and dumb. Okay, <laughs> I really well... I don't know how to explain it. It was sort of okay, I guess. I'm having a blank, so uh, no idea. It was sort of a kingdom building sort of thing, and then okay. it stopped being that. Um, and it's... Demon Lord thing? Yeah. It's I'm not by, going to try to explain it, it's too weird. It's by A1 Pictures. Uh, they have a tendency to create an anime that starts really good, has a decent middle part, and then just fizzles out at the end. This one was okay at the start, then went sort of weird, and then just went, yeah, I'm not really sure why this is happening anymore. Yeah. I have a surprise for you uh, later when we get to the um, fall season of 2018. Oh, um, there was also, uh, what's it called? Um, Hakata Tonkutsu Ramens on the left side from January 12th. Oh yeah, Hakata. That was pretty good. I quite liked that. Yeah, it was very good. It was sort of weird at first, but it really grew on me. I liked it. And I feel like actually explaining it just seems... Well, th there is the description, but beyond that I don't really feel like it should be explained. At first glance? At first glance, the city of Fukuoka seems like a peaceful one, blah blah blah. Basically, yeah, there are a lot of uh, hired killers, assassins, whatnot. Um, oh God! In that then... city, and uh, there is this uh, legend character who goes around killing other professional killers. Okay. Um, and then drama happens. <laughs> and then drama well, happens. Drama, mystery stuff happens. Okay. Uh... Um. I did mention Killing Bites a bit earlier. That's just a really weird human-animal fighting. Well, human-animal hybrid. Uh, tournament fighting sort of anime. It's I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so was, here's was, something. Uh, oh, please. Uh, uh, Hokoku, uh, which is another one up, up there uh, on the right side, I think. Uh, there was a uh, I anime I like. Letters. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, did 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 it find find? Uh, I think it's a little bit more up on the page. Uh, oh, there it is. To the right, button right. Ah, uh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that that weird thing. That's weird. That's a weird enemy. Oh, there we go. I can't words at all. It's also really hard to say that name, and it... <laughs> I like. I remember trying to find that on the internet, and it wasn't consistently spelled anywhere. Some places it was with a double K or that 
places it was single K and it was just weird. Okay. But that was that was an odd one. With magic. Magic time stopping powers? Well, we've had people with that kind of power before. Except that it's not people who have it. Okay, so not people have time-stopping powers. Yes. Uh, also so. magic blood, because magic blood. Well, you bloody damn be right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to react to that? Um, I don't know. Um... Oh, I remember Beatless. Slightly. Uh, I feel like I had that on my watch list at some point in time, and then I just dropped it or something. I don't remember. Uh, yes, you had it on your watch list. I remember. You mentioned <laughs> it some many, many months ago. But I that's don't just my memory. Remember that. Your brain is a weird thing, and it's very special. Yes. Be the beginning. I only only remember um, Digibro talking about it once, and then I never heard about it again. But I guess that sum sums up winter of 2018. Uh, more or less, I think. Springtime. Um... So here's oh, here, here's okay. one of the big ones. Boku no Hero Academy uh, Season 3. It was good. Yes, very. It was very, very good. I think we're very unanimous on that one. Yeah. And um, my mom watched it with me. That she did. Yes. She's like, this is very good anime. <laughs> Which is, like, kind of un unexpected. Or maybe um, not. In, in the bottom right of the screen, there is Golden Kamui. Okay. I haven't watched that yet. It has a second season that's ongoing, I believe. Awesome. Um, it sounds pretty cool. I just haven't started it. Mm -hmm. I've seen pretty much all of uh, all of it. Is it good? I think I'm missing. I think I'm missing the five last episodes, but uh, it's it's good uh, in the beginning. It kind of feels like it's it's striking out uh, in the end, but oh, yeah, it, it, it's good. That's a shame. Yeah. Um, Steins Gate Zero. I have watched all of it. And, uh, well, it's both good and bad. No comments. Okay. I have nothing to add to it because I haven't seen it and I don't... Okay, well, I won't say anything, so um, let's just carry on. Megalobox. The bit seen we've seen one. together so far has been really good. Okay. I well, I like if it. A lot. I actually saw all of it, but uh, yeah, I think it's yeah, it's good. It's a boxing anime. That much I know, With and I like it. Skeleton punch, punch. Um, what else do we have this season? There is the uh, that food we wars thing that was ah uh, so I much. That. Yeah, I I. I Maya has been bugging me for forever to watch Soma and just give it <laughs> my one episode review because that's that's what I apparently do on his Discord these days. Um, but I've never gotten around to it. Um, and then we have leftovers, the shows that carried on into the next season. Uh, uh, there is also Kekeke no Kitaro some. Uh, that I, I haven't seen yet. I want to see that at some point in time. Yeah. Uh, Gaijin Gumba uh, has talked a lot, have talked a lot about uh, Gegegeni no Kitaro. Words are hard. We established this. 
many times today. Yes. Um, and therefore, I kind of want to watch it. Uh, there was the um, sixth part of uh, Digimon Adventure Try. Uh, yeah, that was a thing. Did, did we manage to finish it? I mean, it is over. Uh, I don't think so. Oh. Well, um, um, I just noticed there are new movies of uh, Code Gears out. Yeah, I saw there was something that popped up, and I was like, I don't care at this point. Um, I really like Code Gears, so I kind of wanna, kind of wanna get back into that, I guess. Um, Ninja Batman. N- Ninja Batman. Have anyone watched that one yet? No, I feel like I should though. <laughs> Same, I guess. Just for the laugh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> from what I've heard, he's not very. Um, he he's not very ninja. He's pretty much just samurai. Yeah, that's um, my understanding of it too. Um, in the OVA ONA special area, there is uh, Sota no Ken Regenesis. Um, I have actually started watching Sota no Ken. Um. It's prequel to Fist of the North Star. Okay. And it is... I have not watched Fist of the North Star. You should. It's hilariously dumb. Yeah, but I should also watch Cowboy Bebop, but I've not watched it either. Fair point. Um, I want to watch Gretzko, to watch. but I can't get myself uh, to, to actually start it for some reason. I just haven't found it in the right version yet, and I haven't really bothered trying to look what too hard. What is the right version of anime? Uh, you you haven't found it in the right version. How could you not? What is well, what, uh, what is a not right version? I haven't found the right version of uh, Made in Abyss. I want to know what those statements mean. <laughs> Tell me. I mean, we talked about uh, Agretzko at one point in time. Or was it with uh, Toaster Tank? Might have been with Toaster Tank. Um, and apparently Agretzko has like two different versions. Um, like there is the quote-unquote new one and there is an older one. Okay. Um and the one I actually found was the old one, not the one I wanted to watch. Yeah, um, I guess from, or at least from what I remember, there's something about that it's been rebooted, yes. Uh, oh, right, that was a thing. Uh, Vatican Kisaki Chosakan. That was a very weird anime. In game. It's it's only one episode. It's um... uh no that that's an OVA. It's an addition to the anime. Oh, um, from when is this anime from? I don't remember. Oh, I just okay. Saw there was an OVA, and I was like, oh wow, yeah, that was a thing. It was really weird because they were priest investigators of supernatural things, and there were no supernaturals. With some sort of magic, not magic. Okay. That's why I'm like, it's sort of weird. When you say it like that, the only thing I can think of is Helsing. And, um, what's his name? Um, well, the vast majority of the magic in this series is just, ooh, look at all the, the spiritual, supernatural things, and then it gets explained away. Okay. And then there are those extra th- three things that are never explained, and they actually look legit magic spiritual hocus pocus stuff okay so yeah that was the thing um but yeah uh, speaking of of helsing ultimate um the abridged version of it actually ended this year oh wow but uh, helsing ultimate is also only 10 relatively long episodes so, it's made by the same guys who does, um, what's it called, um, uh, Team Four Star, they're called. Hmm. 
and their abridged version of Dragon Ball is actually quite good. I've heard that. Quack. <laughs> the majestic space duck. A duck indeed. Yeah. So Quick duck! No. So now we get to uh, uh, what's it called? Summer 2018 and... Uh, that's actually where I get very into uh, watching anime again. I think I had like four or five animes in the air at a time for the summer. Oh, wow. Um, You've got going again. Yeah. Uh, there was, um, what's it called? Attack on Titan, Hataraku Saibo, Overlord. Um, the one I can't pronounce, but it ends in Tenshi, and uh, it's just called Angels of Death, I think, in English. That's Riko no Tenshi. Yes, thank, th thanks you. And <laughs> then I had another one, uh, Planet With, and that's what I watched for summer. That's the weirdest name of any anime ever. Yeah. And there are some really weird ones. Yeah. Um, I watched a bunch, uh, like the three first you mentioned. Uh, the three first on the list, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I watched Isekai Mao Toshokan Shoujo no Dore Majutsu whatever thing, which is another power fantasy Isekai anime. Which yeah, was yeah. Surprisingly good, despite its very stereotypical default sort of appeal at first. Don't worry, I'm the person who. I'm the person this year who's watched the worst anime of the three of us. Maybe, I don't know. I also watched uh, Hyakure no Hao to Seiyaku no Valkyria, which was just the dumb thing with the guy is taking to another world slash time slash something, and he is interacting with... Norse mythology characters that aren't Norse mythology characters, but they are. Okay. And he can talk to his childhood friend with his phone. Okay. It was really weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> and two below, that one below, a uh, high school girl, there is uh, Angle Moa Genko Kasenki, uh, which is a historical... Uh, I don't know how historical it actually is. But it was basically uh, a part of Japan. It all happens in with the uh, bandits and a former military captain, whatever uh, stuff. And they get invaded by the Mongols. Um, okay. And it it was sort of interesting and sort of ended up feeling like, why did I watch this when it ended? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's another. I, I mean, I've ended up calling them. Um, what's it called? Um, what was it again? I, it, it was this one and and the other one you mentioned, uh, harem anime. Because that's the basic appeal of the anime is that the main character is a blank slate that has a harem, kind of. Angle Moaken Kokasenki isn't though. It's the historical one. That's, oh, I'm looking that's at the wrong one. At all. But yeah, the, the Hyakure no Hao and uh, Isekai Mao both very harem. But uh, Isekai Mao uh, is actually good because it sort of takes those stereotypes, it runs a bit with them, and then it sort of just breaks them completely hmm. in some very good ways. So I would actually say that's worth watching. Hmm... I noticed something here, and that's because it's an it's an old anime. Um, Fully Cooly F L C L Alternative. I've not watched it, but I want to. Uh, where are you hiding? It's next to um, uh, No Valkyria. Uh, oh, there, yeah. It's um. An old anime kind of but it's it's a return so it's like new i don't know if it's supposed to be a kind of reboot like you've talked very well about fully Coolie before so i feel like maybe i should watch it at some point in time definitely um planet with is a weird one um 
watching it, I definitely got, you know, Gurn Lagan vibes, but it's pretty much just a discount version of it. It's it's it only twelve so episodes bad. long and it's it's sort of plot twisty thing happens in the begin at the end of one episode and is done the next episode. And oh, doesn't right. have yeah, much like impact. But, I mean, I... if if you want to watch 12 episodes of anime that's sort of Gurn Lagann-esque, I guess you could watch Planet With. I scrolled further down looking for things that have come out also, and uh, in the OVA special thing again, there is uh, Baki, New Grappler Baki, which okay. is um, basically a follow-up of an old anime just called Baki the Grappler. Okay. And... Um, I quite like it. It's it's extremely over the top martial artist uh, mm-hmm. bullshit in every way, and uh, I I liked watching it. I don't remember if it's done. I feel like it isn't. I mean, most animes aren't done at this point, so. I mean, that's episode twenty six. Yeah, it's done. I don't. How did this end again? <laughs> ah. Because if I don't remember wrong, it basically ended with a cliffhanger on he's going to star in a tournament and then it just stops. Hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was the final episode. Well, that was a that's weird. That's a shame. Speaking of, oh wait, we'll we'll leave animes that end weird till we get to the the uh, the next season. Um, bringing him back up to uh, Attack on Titan here. I can't actually wait for uh, April where the next um, what's it called um, the next part of it is supposed to come out. Like that's Q two of um, two thousand nineteen. I'm looking forward to more of that too. Mm-hmm. It's going to be very interesting with where they ended off. Yeah, Ataraku Saibo was really good. I uh, I managed to actually finish that one before before the podcast. Ooh, yay! I watched it with my mom. <laughs> but yeah, it is super good. Um, I like the extra episode that was um released far later just feels slightly wrong like this is just tacked on for no reason mm-hmm. like the retreading grounds or or what like it doesn't really have a point it's called the common cold and it, we have had so the body gets of... the common cold and that's it sort of uh except not and that's the weird part, because they have dealt with infections and Vira and stuff before, but this time it sort of doesn't really use the same way things worked previously. It just does things. Okay. Like, a lot For of comedy? it is two cells running around pranking, uh, like, uh, white blood cell and uh, T-killer cells and stuff. Wait, wait, so you're saying that the common cold is running around and pranking my cells? One of them and a regular cell, yeah. Wow, okay. And it's just really weird and dumb. <laughs> well, I I don't know, maybe we should fact check that episode and see if it's right. I mean, it's, it just seems like a weird tacked on thing that doesn't really belong. Hmm. Because what the common cold actually does is explained as not just uh, pranking cells in your body and whatnot, mm-hmm. but that is what actually happens on the screen for most of the season, uh, most of the episode. Yes, most like of the season. A regular cell and a common cold infected cell, and they go around pan- pranking other cells because ha ha fun. Mm, eh? yeah. Um. So, the last one I want to talk about before we move on to the next season is... Well, I don't know. Fries, do you have anything to add? What did you watch this season? Oh, well... 
not much apart from what we already have discussed so okay so that would be overlord season three i guess yeah <laughs> pretty much okay yeah well the last one i want to talk about is is um what's it called uh tenshi uh the last one on the top uh top row it's um it's a weird anime it it really is like they're caught underground for some reason. I don't know why. You can obviously tell they've had limited uh what's it called voice actors to work with because at some point there is just one guy gets interviewed about what happened and you can clearly hear that he's one of the other voice actors. Um <clears throat> and basically <sighs> Not that I want to allude to to suicide and stuff like that, but but the ending is so weird you can't interpret it in any other way. I'm like, why is this even on TV? Why? Good question. But but yeah, it's in many ways. I mean, it's listed as horror here. I wouldn't call it horror. But yeah. Either way, jumping on to to next season. Um, and this is where we truly get into the darkest time timeline, but also kind of the best timeline. Yes. Um, I don't know if they can actually hear it on the stream, but you get very staticky on my end. Um, I don't know. I've, I'll... Checked this, I've checked the stream and he doesn't sound static. It's only in Discord he sounds static. So it's um, only Discord. Okay. It may have something to do with... Uh, huh. Missions, no. I think it's fine. It was just Discord this would have really some bad on stream if it actually went there too. Yeah, uh, Discord is a little weird sometimes with the um, uh, what's it called? With the whole stream thing, um, when you are on a server, you can't quite choose where the you you can choose where the server is is placed and that will affect how um your um how, how your voice channels work uh right now it's set for central europe and that should be fine if you're in a call it will work very differently you can choose a more precise location and that should give you a better connection which is which is weird and it's just one of the common uh discord problems that there are and well if you have a a team speak server in a bad location you get the same kind of problems but yeah that's just bad luck for us i guess good mm -hmm. thing it does work on the stream because yay it would be a problem if if it happened to one of you guys but but we're fine yeah, I assume so, because you would probably react to it if it was one of us. Yeah. Okay, so anyway. here is what I watched for um, the fall season. And I'm going to jump around a bit, because I want to I wanna surprise you a bit with 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 how bad it's it's getting this, this season for me. Uh, but there's Goblin Slayer. There is uh, Ten Tensei Shirata Slime Data Ken. I don't know how to pronounce that, but but the the industry itself seems to have uh, decided on um, calling it just Tensura, which yeah, is yeah, uh, they sort of just call it Tensura. Uh, on uh, uh, toast, on... like calling it just re toast, um, re slime. Okay. Um, in uh what's it called um in in um Maya's discord we call it slime isekai yeah that same idea um then i watched uh zombieland saga with uh freeze actually I and that yet. i need to get to and, that. and and i finished it up my own and and here's the big one i watched sword art online Bad. <laughs> Bad. yes and it's garbage utter what? garbage i tell you why did why i mean 
let let me highlight it like this like like apparently um the guys over on Maya's discord were losing their collective shit about how good it's gotten oh my god um and they were losing their collective shit over episode 10 which is which is why we are truly in the uh, worst timeline um uh. but uh, let, me, let me say this this much um we are in episode 12 at this point it's 24 episodes long i still have 12 episodes to go which by the way i i already hate myself for starting but here's the thing we have been uh having exposition dumps for uh roughly um 85% of the anime so far. I... How can you exposition so much in an anime that's about fighting monsters in an online line game? I think we've had two action s sequences in the entire thing. I'm scared. And I'm like, how can you exposition so much? Why are you doing this? But that was not what they were losing their collective shit about, why it was getting good. No, that's not it. So I'm gonna back out here a bit and say episode one of Goblin Slayer. Uh. People was like, well, episode one of Goblin Slayer is, is just, um, it's, it's just scare factor and, and stuff like that. And it's really, really bad and you shouldn't watch it. And b because it has rape in it and stuff, and it's just, ooh, right? Mm -hmm. Well, those people were the ones saying, well, Sword Art Online is now very, very good. Guess what they have in episode 10? Rip. Yeah, they do. Oh, my. And, and it's like, they obviously already have had the lash bag. Like, the industry can see the lash bag that Goblin Slayer have had because of its first episode. But no, no, A1 Pictures, they literally, they, they literally, and, and apparently also the writer, uh, what's his face, um, he, they, they both thought that it was a good idea to put this shit in, in episode 10, in an anime that for most of its season have just been exposition, and for most of its season seems like to go the expositioning route. I, what? I, uh, <clears throat> like that's painful yeah it is very I don't know why I did this to myself but I don't either why would you because now um, the rest of, of I don't know um, the, the rest of the, the uh, I mean I don't know if I'd say I got gang pressed into it that's not the right word but yeah. When when someone uh, loses their shit about co collectively loses their shit about how good something is, then then I I and and they're supposed to be my friends. Then I guess I need to to know what it actually is they're talking about, right? Right. But it's still sought out online. Yeah. I know I was not gonna enjoy it when I got in there. Uh, sure. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, yeah. That being said, Goblin Slayer is is really good. It's like the best anime, uh, probably this season. Maybe. Well, it's it's very it's at least a good contender for uh, for good anime uh, for the fall season. Um, um, like. Goblin Slayer's main problem is the excessive need to do the whole uh, exposed female rape, mean ass goblins thing. Uh, yeah, they could just not show all of those many many details. Basically, show exactly the same things, and have a show that wouldn't get bashed on nearly as much, and it would be far better for it. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Like, it's surprisingly a very good series, uh, despite the starting problems Yeah, uh, that sort of resurface a bit later, too. Hmm. Well, 
I don't know how I would say resurface, resurface, but I'll say this. Um, Goblin Slayer is probably the one anime, uh, if if not entirely uh, all around, uh, then at least for the fall season, that has um, bothered to portray uh, PTSD in a manner that seems uh, sensible and sort of correct. It's certainly something like i it's it's yeah, I, obvious i don't really know what to say it's obvious that priestess has ptsd that's one of the the sort of uh what's it called um well it, it's one of the things that actually happens during one of the episodes is that she has a a lash out if you can say that yeah, she she certainly reacts to it. Uh, it's quite early on too, uh, and then there is uh, Sword Maiden too. Uh, are yeah, you thinking the, the of Sword Maiden and not Priestess? Okay. You well, might be thinking of Sword Maiden. Um, Sword Maiden is well. I guess she is the example of of that. It happens to it, it's if you have PTSD, it affects. Every, I mean, it can affect everyone, doesn't matter what kind of status you have or what you do, it will affect you. Like, of course, people take to it differently, it affects people differently. That's one mm. thing I know for sure. But, like, I think that's what uh, the Sword Maiden is supposed to sort of show, is that even though she's the one who defeated the Demon Lord, she's still scared of goblins um whereas um priestess is the what's it called she's basically thrown straight into it and you get to experience yeah. the whole how she gets ptsd and how she experiences it while it yeah. uh, flares up so to say <clears throat> and sort of also how she deals with getting rid of it Sort of? uh, I don't know if if we could say that she's gotten out of it. I don't think the anime have pointed that she's actually over it yet. I mean, um, she's done a lot of things where I would normally expect a person with PTSD to react, and she hasn't. Yeah. Well, I think that's one of the things with... I, I'm not sure. I mean, none of us are psychologists or doctors, <laughs> but... Um, I'm I'm not sure that the um that that PTSD is a thing you can regularly count on happening that it's it's something that takes it's something that can take a while to flare up and sometimes it just flares up for no reason and I think that's like one of the issues with trying to portray uh, PTSD in in media is that it's not something you can easily portray because it's it's kind of an irregular. Sort it's, of, yes. It's um, still pro very as... problematic for the person and, and very not good for the person who has uh, PTSD. And, and that's why you should take care of people who, who get diagnosed and, and people who potentially could have PTSD should definitely um, talk to someone about it. The the hard thing is actually getting a person to talk about it in yeah. some cases. But um as far as I know, PTSD just isn't the type of thing that you can uh basically face uh the cause of why you got it in the first place and then not react. Um you could uh, be in a similar situation without uh, a PTSD reaction, so to say. Um, but that's because whatever triggers it, whatever reminds you of that experience, doesn't um, isn't actually there. Mm. Uh, and I feel like with Priestess's case specifically, it's because, well, goblins have killed and murdered and done horrible, horrible things to her friends. Yeah. Um, 
so it should just be the generic goblins are horrible creatures and do horrible things to other people uh, that should trigger it, but she has seen a lot of that this, yeah, yeah. Uh, Well, since the start where he, she reacted to it. Here's the thing, though. Not really? Here's, here's the thing, though. Most of the time, um, she is with um, Goblin Slayer himself. And it isn't until he gets actually very badly hurt that she actually has a, a sort of reaction to it. Yeah, she does react there quite a bit, but mm. I'm not really sure if that's PTSD or just her panicking because, well, the one guy who is supposed to be their cornerstone just got smashed. Well, um, the way it's and... portrayed in the episode, I personally believe, is like... She has seen how hardy, um, what's it called, Goblin Slayer himself is very often, and how hardy he's been throughout the course of the, the anime. Like, he's been smacked against the wall before, but but this time is different. Mm, maybe. I mean, if you look at how it's portrayed, it, it seems very different, yeah, at least. I don't really agree with that. I guess some of this might be because I've seen the last episode and you haven't. Okay. Well, I um, guess we'll see after I've seen the last episode then, because I didn't get to watch it. Because last episode is pretty... Goblin Slayer gets sort of beat up a lot again. Okay. Um, That's usually yeah, I, how I really it works, it. kind of. Well... Not really. Yeah, not really. <laughs> He's supposed to be the anti-goblin person, and he sort of gets beat up by goblin types a little more often than I would like, sort of. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I really liked it, and I actually really liked uh, the whole party he gets going with the lizard and the dwarf and uh, the elf, yeah. because it's just a lot of very varied characters that are great to have together. Mm -hmm. Well, there's also some um, classic... What's it called? Um classic fantasy tropes like dwarves and elves do uh bigger a lot when they're together yeah it's just fantasy tropes but mm -hmm. i think they did it quite well in goblin slayer yeah they handled it good mm -hmm. so um next one zombieland saga you haven't watched it i know i haven't i really want to <laughs> please have yeah, go watch it. Go watch it right now. And I mean, go watch uh, it after the podcast. I have other um, things to do too. <laughs> that being said, the season ends very weird. Very weird. Like, very, very cliffhanger-like. That sounds like I should look forward to a second season then. Yeah, they have said that they are working on getting a second season. Uh, whether they'll get a second season or not, I don't know. Well, um, they might go the OVA way. Um, that being said, um, Saki is best girl. <laughs> and I think I may have become a bit addicted to, um, what's it called, um... Idol animes. Oh my god, you did the mother's basement thing. Yeah. <laughs> because now I want to go watch Hanebado. Uh, and yeah. But like, they have a very vibrant cast of, of different girls with, with different. Um, like, they all come from. from different times which is in and of itself it's it's a hard one to portray and then there are also zombies that's like the best twist to to characters ever uh like i've seen clips of it and i just love the bits where they head bang it's so over the top <laughs> yeah. so stupid that's so like great. first episode it's so good I watched it with my mum. She thought it was funny too. Of course it's funny. It's stupid. <laughs> it's the uh, best kind of stupid, even. Oh. 
And I like how they, they're zombies, so sometimes they fall apart. Yeah, I, I was like, yeah, that probably happens too. And and the bit with um, with uh, whether they smell bad or not. Oh. Because they're zombies. They and they, they uh, I, I don't know if they can even tell. I don't think they would be able to tell because that would require being able to smell things and... Well, zombies. Can zombies knows. smell things? Can zombies in this show smell things? I don't know, but... I mean, typically you would say a zombie cannot do the whole sense thing. Um, that said, they apparently have a brain. That is apparently a vital point. Um, and their muscles work and stuff. Yeah, even when so, they're falling apart. Even when the body works when the head is detached from the body. Like, that's part of the point. Like, how does this actually... We shouldn't analyze this because that's <laughs> fantasy <laughs> tropes and it doesn't make sense because it's fantasy. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Should we talk about Slimy Sekai? Um, I mean, I guess we could... But I don't know, I mean, it's a little hard to talk about this anime for me, because I really like it, but I also feel like, well, it is, again, an overpowered character done right. Yeah, definitely. Um, that being said, sometimes I feel that it's also a little bit, little, little bit fantasy, cheesy, um... Like it's definitely going for for the kind of fan service vibe ish, and the weird thing is that we have a slime with with the weirdest uh, uh, harem ever. I love his so situation. To say. It's so weird and it's sort of so dumb. Mm -hmm. But but um, if you think about it, yeah. his his harem consists of of. A tribe of of goblins, both male and female. It consists of 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 the weird wolves. ogres. It consists of wolves. Yeah, like how could you even harm him like that? How does that even work? And, I mean, and considering the latest two episodes, you could also sort of put in parentheses dryad. Oh yeah, yeah, kind of. Because I mean, that one makes sort that, of in there. That one makes sense. He's a tree hugger now. <laughs> well, isn't a dryad he, he's a kind slime of... that sort of? Oh my god, I forgot. Uh, included in his uh, harem slash friend thing slash whatever it is, uh, dragon. Yeah, there's a dragon and and a freaking <laughs> fire demon. Well, that that one doesn't really count. He just ate that one. Yeah, sure, but uh, but I'm, I'm I'm sure the dragon will uh, will convince uh, the fire demon to join. Um, the harem sooner or later. I mean, I'm not entirely convinced about that. I think the the Ifrit, whatever fire spirit thing, is just going to be grumpy. I don't want to, but I have no choice. Yeah, pretty much. So uh, yeah, that, that's quite a, and I, and I'm pretty sure he's adding a bunch of lizard men to his harem soon. I'm fairly certain that's going to happen in like the next two episodes or something. Yeah. <laughs> so um yeah i and, really and look also... forward to seeing more about well the whole goal with the uh, the dragon like how that is going to continue on and hmm. also the goal with uh the demon lord thing stuff yeah because I, it's I... been a while now where they've sort of just cycled around in the whole yeah and well, it's also kind of strange how it's uh, about him seeing the f future and he is supposed to be with this girl that is, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spoilers. H how? How are you going to? <laughs> well, technically, they are together. Uh, he, he, they are together in a way. It just kind of seems strange, uh, many of the things, and it just feels like they're they're kind of going to many different places compared to, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, going... 
new places every time and just um <clears throat> continue <laughs> yeah um there was one thing i saw there was a person who compared um animes to to video game types styles where you have uh, goblin slayers definitely your your rpg type and um and uh What's it called? Zombie Land Saga would definitely be a rhythm type, and um, what's it called? Uh, Slime Isekai is uh, is your base building game. Yeah, that that makes sense. It's sort of like an RTS. Mm-hmm. If you had to compare it to a game. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Well, I've been through all the anime I've seen this season, even the bad ones that are um, not finished yet, that I still have to watch. <laughs> so I could give I one know. episode pointers about what I didn't like to... to, Yeah. I'm very sorry for you. <laughs> that said, I've been watching Fairy Tale, and that's just... Uh, it's even worse now. Like, it's just really, really stupid. And I st- that's yeah. pretty much why I'm watching it now because it is that stupid. Well, I mean, I shouldn't, but that is, I guess, what I'm doing with it. My biggest issue. I might just drop it at some point in time. <laughs> my biggest issue with Fairy Tale and the reason why I dropped it is that I felt the comedy failed to renew itself. The combat scenes, the the action failed to renew itself for quite a long time. Like, they never went anywhere with the magic concept. Uh, like, it's it's just magic. Um, if you look at, for example, I mean, one of the animes that it always gets compared to is One Piece. Um, especially because of the notable uh, same kind of drawing style. Because the two main artists worked together uh, under another artist for a long time. Um <clears throat> And that's like One Piece went places. Like it started out with with you know just devil fruits and and strong people, right? Mm. And now we are all the way up with with and and like back then the big thing was the thing that made people strong was having a devil fruit power. But now it's like there's there's something about having two devil fruit powers. There's there's hockey. Which is like, well, I you mean, have devil fruit powers. Well, too bad for you. I have hockey, so I have the upper hand kind of deal. And I and punch you in of, face, I win. That is yeah. basically how hockey works in yeah. that situation. And, and that's like, One Piece managed to, to keep its combat new. It managed to do new things with the com- its combat and add new things that made it more, how do you put it? It made it more complicated, more... Like like it renewed its its uh, its combat, so you could sort of you you have more things to guesstimate about. You have more things to theorize on. Fairy tale is just well, here's magic, and magic is specific to one person. Okay, here, here that's is it. some slightly different magic also. And, yeah, uh, I think um, I think the most like like the whole concept was that. You have you have specific magic and another person you you cannot learn another person's magic really like that would have been that that would if if fairy tale would have expanded upon its magic system uh, so that other people could learn from other people about magic then 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 it would have been more awesome but but that's not in there I think the most unique uh, kind of or different takes on magics that other people can use that's that's summoning magic. Like, uh, if you look at Lucy's magic, um, there are other people who actually, quote-unquote, use the same school of magic. She has star dresses now. Basically, she has magical battle armor. Okay. And it's dumb. Okay. Um, like, if I had to compare those two to games and explain the difference between them, I would say that One Piece... Uh, power creeps by adding more mechanics, but fairy tale power creeps by just making the numbers larger. Okay. Like, well, that's that's basically how power creep kind of works, I guess. Like it's not of, unlikely again, that a 
a devil That's fruit the juice. Between, I, I do a thing. I punch <laughs> harder now, and I do a thing, and I can do this other thing also. Hmm. That, that's the difference between it like if you yeah. just keep doing the same stuff but you suddenly hit harder because you trained or whatever then you're still doing the same thing like why would I care hmm. well um uh, um there was something but I lost I lost a thread I'm sorry it's okay um but but that was like the main point why I didn't like a uh, fairy tale much. It didn't renew its comedy. It stuck to um, look gray is naked again. Um, oops, Natsu got uh, sick by uh, stepping onto this moving board um, because motion sickness. Um, He's not the only one anymore. Yeah, I know. Like most of the dragon uh, uh, slayer guys do that except for uh i think what's his name gargiel and wendy wendy does it now oh god yes well <laughs> they were like oh now she does this so no she cannot use her healing magic to fix you oh too bad <laughs> why did you do this just why yeah i do like the music like it's it's a lot of um what's it called um some of it is kind of Scottish. Some of it is um, what's it called? The other part of of United Kingdom, Ireland, Irish. I just, I just realized something. You talked about A one pictures earlier. They're the yeah. ones behind Fairy Tale. Right now that you mention it, I was like, oh, I guess that explains something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, a bit further down on the page, on the right side, there is a Karakuri Circus. Uh, where? And Karakuri Circus is... I sort of like it, but, like... It starts out with this protagonist who is a kid who is getting hunted because his dad died and he's supposed to inherit uh, his huge mega corporation, something stuff. And like halfway through the current um, mark, like at episode six or seven or something thereabouts, um, he sort of just gets left out of the story and his... Uh, group or what we should say uh sort of go around doing ordinary things while the guy in the foreground of the picture is of actually doing the actually cool stuff and such and it's like why i why did you split things up and have this pointless part of the story now why, why did you do this mm -hmm. that guy is supposed to be the main character but he's He's the protagonist, but he's just not doing anything interesting. There's nothing interesting happening with those. What? Why? At the same time, I sort of like the idea of the show. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. It's literally better just to read a description. Uh, the protagonist, uh, Masa... What? It's Masaru. Sm Who? Masaru. Masaru uh, has uh, just inherited a big fortune after the death of his father. However, the, uh, however, people are trying to get their hands on uh, on Id uh, by any means necessary, even if it means killing uh, him. Uh, oh, Narumi. Narumi helped Masaru to avoid being kidnapped after fighting some weird guys. Wow. <laughs> Okay, that writing, just saying. Um, yep. Uh, he found out that they, are, that they are not humans, but wooden puppets with amazing strength. Putting, putting emphasis on amazing strength here, just because of it. Yes, um, they are very strong. <laughs> okay. Uh, after a hard fight, um, Naomi... Not, not there, there, there. There, was forced to admit that he is no opponent for them, uh, and he 
And just and when he... Oh, I can't read. It's so small. And just when he started to think that Masaru would be captured, Shirogane, Masaru's watcher, arrives from France with a weapon, the puppet Arlequin. Okay. And that's not entirely true, because Masaru is actually the one running around with Arlequin without knowing it, because it's a puppet in a giant... Uh, case suitcase basically okay and she doesn't arrive from france she's a clown in the nearby circus okay she just originally comes from france okay and yeah it's it's weird also uh narumi he has a sickness uh that means that when he gets uh, attacks he has to make someone laugh otherwise he's going to choke and die okay it's very stupid. That specific detail. But they actually uh, make that a bigger plot point. So that's good, I guess. Okay. I feel like I sort of recommend it, sort of not. But I'm still going to watch it to the end because I'm sort of caught on it now. Okay. Well, I won't let you out of the box because it's 36 episodes. Yeah, it's going to take a while. So I have <laughs> yeah. a hope that uh, they will make things work better later. Okay. So, um, please, anything you watch this this season? Uh, I don't think so. I've been very, uh, work. very work heavy this season. Work, 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 work. Double. Okay. Um, there is another thing I watched. Um, it's uh, where is it? I went past it. Uh, it's back down in the TV shorts. It's uh, Gaikutsu Shoten in Honda San. Oh or, yeah, uh, shopkeeper yeah. Honda San, whatever it's called in English. Um, they're very short episodes. The half length from usual. And yeah. they're not even really that because it's really two mini episodes in one. Mm -hmm. And it's silly, weird, fun, and quite a neat, unique look into how it is to be a um a bookstore keeper person in Japan. Mm -hmm. Um and like he has some interesting reactions. The funny thing um is that he actually um he has references inside the uh, manga slash anime that he is writing and people are reading the very same thing. Okay. So he has sort of has some meta commentary in there too. It's sort of weird, but it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I, I wanted to watch it, but I, for some reason, have not picked it up. Again. You should. Again, yes. it's short. It's very nice. But I should also be watching Cowboy Bebop. But that's very long. This is <laughs> this is very short. I know. That's um, why you should watch this. Yes. So, what else is there? I mean, there's a special, but I didn't I didn't watch the special of Steins Gate. What was that? Um, I'm just looking on Winter 2019, and I found a movie that's for later. Okay. So yeah, I guess I guess we've crossed the border on on what's for for uh 2018. Should we look at the future? Well, it's also not the future because this is also counted as winter 2019, I think. This is fall. We're winter 2019 is January. Oh wait, it starts at January. Okay. Yeah, the the the, the uh, what's it called? Winter anime just, season yeah. starts in January. We are that currently just in fall. Strikes me as really weird, but it's because that's the place that that's the time where that that's the season the the season quarter they start in. Yeah, but it doesn't stop being weird for me. But yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, like I found a couple of movies I really look forward to when I look there. Um, um there I look forward the anime to um, that look interesting to me. 
season two uh, of Mob Psycho 100. Oh, right. Yeah, I completely forgot that. I really want that. Hmm. Mob Psycho season two should be great. Yeah. Uh, One Punch Man uh, season two have apparently been announced for, um, what's it called, early uh, 2019. But uh, whether it's Q1 it, or Q2, we don't know yet. I think it's Q2. I can just check uh, spring. Um, Q2 is yeah, not it's fully... Spring. It is. Okay. It's in spring. It's in April. Okay. Um, um, I'm sitting here looking at spring and I can't find it. Like, I have it on uh, spring and sort by popularity. It's the first one. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. My bad. <laughs> I don't have eyes, apparently. I guess not. Um, I lost them in the battle uh, for um, pancakes. But uh, winter 2019, I uh, mentioned a movie I saw that looked really interesting, and then I saw some other. Um, so there is a uh, Yojo Senki movie coming out. Yeah, I saw that. That is that is pretty interesting. I definitely want to watch that. I want that too. Like, I, I really just want to highlight the studio that's behind that movie. Not? <laughs> yeah, I would not highlight that. What? Not? It's yeah, just apparently. Huh? I, I know that. Or it <laughs> just is, don't be uh, naughty about it. What, what's the word? In... Peanuts. Um, <laughs> and then there are um, two episodes more for Made in Abyss. Uh, they are recap movies. Oh. Uh, well, now I'm not excited for them. <laughs> no, but apparently uh, later in 2019, it's going to continue. Oh, neat. Um, um, and there's a uh, OVA special thing for uh, Boku no Hero Academia. All um, Might Rising, the animation. I want that too. Like, it would be great to know some more about how All Might, uh, well, grew through things. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's uh, Slimy Sakai too, apparently. And uh, uh, I see an, a special for. Um, I mean, there's leftovers for Slimy Sakai because it's gonna carry into this uh, this season. Sure, it's it's, it's in the but... leftovers bit. Um, but there is uh, an OVA yeah. for Slime Isekai. It's the OVA I talked about. There's the OVA and there's a, um OVA for Gaikotsu's return in Honda-san, which would also be great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like that's the interesting bits for me in Winter 2019, I guess. Yep. I still find it weird that we need to recap uh, what's it called um, the entire first season of Maiden Abyss. Yeah, that just feels odd that they do that. Maybe it's going to be subbed by some real subbers. Nah. I mean, I think Maiden Abyss is over on Crunchyroll. I uh, don't know if it still is. I can't remember if it's still um uh, Is it one of subs? those that dropped? Uh um, don't talk about subs, they don't exist. They do not exist. Okay. Okay, there's nothing for Maiden Abyss on um on Crunchyroll. Nope. And it's probably another one. Or licensed to another one. Yeah, I think it's uh, one of the ones that got swapped over to somewhere else. Oh well. But if it was on Crunchyroll, it would have been subbed by Crunchyroll. True. That's why I remember it not being... Yeah. <laughs> ah. So yeah. Uh, so maybe it's going to be great. I don't know, why would you repeat an entire season that is already so short and came out not too long ago? Yeah, because 
The industry want to sell things. Brim, I don't know. So, yeah. But yeah. I guess that was it for Animu. I mean, I anime. I think it was. Unless we want to go even further into the future, and I don't really feel like that. Me neither. I am looking forward to that One Punch Man, though, and Mob Psycho. It's, that it's will be great. It's good that he got both of them running. Because, I mean, it's made by the same, uh, or, or rather, it's written by the same guy. He deserves a lot of money. Hmm. Just because he's doing a good job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Either way, I, I guess it's it's time to round out, I guess. Mayhaps. Yeah, we had that last topic on the uh, agenda. That we did. Um, let me just see what it what it was I wrote down because. What's the thing at the place with the stuff? The thing at the place with the things. It's not the right one. Oops. Text. That one. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, the future on Twitch and YouTube. Well. I will say I've had a pretty good year on Twitch. It's It's been really nice to do all the streaming. It's been nice to meet more people, so to speak. And in general, I have fu I've had fun with it. I mean, I need to still, you know, work on on assets and stuff for the stream. I've been doing that for an entire year. Yes, I know I'm late. Don't tell me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I I still want to continue putting the uh, the podcast on YouTube. Um, though I feel like I should probably also start rebuilding some parts of of the um, what's it called? <clears throat> start rebuilding some parts of the um the the whole overlay thing. It's it's a little old. Though I kind of I kind of do like the the uh, what's it called simple aesthetic, but yeah. Um, what more is there to talk about, really? Um, I don't really have anything. I guess we could go over like Christmas presents or something. That just feels weird, though. Um, I mean, I did spend my Christmas money to help improve the sc the stream a little by getting a new screen. Oh right, yeah, you uh, you sent me a picture of that. Yeah, it's it's nice to have the extra screen. It definitely helps, um, but it definitely needs to um, to have some some work in terms of settings because sometimes the colors are a little odd. That's and, the thing with setting up new hardware. It takes a bit. Yeah. Like definitely if, if you get a um if you get a bank, don't leave it at or, or BenQ, don't leave it at default settings. It looks terrible. <laughs> it looks like crap. It it couldn't tell the uh, like like I have the screenshots, like if you look at the stream right now you can see screenshots of different things that I've taken in Elite Dangerous. And um Let's just say none of them look good on that screen because of how it treats um what's it called um areas that are you know sort of luminescent on a dark background it turns it into a block yeah yeah terrible so uh, after working it for roughly uh one and a half hour i figured out how to get it to not turn stars into blocks Took way too longer than it should. Um, it's not horribly good at, um, or at least it seems to not be horribly good at gradients. So if you have like a, a picture of a star and it's very, 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 um, or, or rather not a picture of a star, but if you have some beige and you have some shadowing on the beige, then you get these sort of... Um, gradient lines where you have 
you know, one color, and then it switches uh, abruptly to the ne to the next color instead of being a smooth transition. So, um, yeah, not not right. a great, but but you can buff it out if, but but you have to work it really really hard. I was just looking up uh, the English word for something because my sister gave me two lemon squeezes. Uh, okay. Basically, a big one with a um, container underneath and a small one for pieces so you can squish it and you can uh, put the juice into your drink or whatever. And all of a sudden, it made me want to, the next time I come visit you, just make um, garlic bread again. <laughs> okay. With lemon squeezy on? Yes, because there's uh, lemon in the um, garlic uh, butter. Okay. It's good. You remember? Yes, I do. It was very good. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you yeah. get a little bit creepy like that sometimes. It's great. Well, I do love my food, and I do love eating my food, and I do love eating my food and and eating my food while putting more food in my mouth. I hope you don't love your food too much because that's a little bit disgusting. <laughs> Jesus, why did you go there? Uh, American pie. No, oh God. <laughs> I, I think we are done about now because we just ended up in some territory we probably shouldn't be in. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is Monka TOS. I don't have that emote, but, but Monka TOS. Um, Jesus Christ. No. I mean, yes. I mean, broken shit. I'm confused now. <laughs> um, I've been out taking more B-Reel for the stream with the new lighting engine on, um, on, uh, what's it called? Elite Dangerous? Neat. Um... These screenshots are a bit of a mix of, of you know, uh, older and newer screenshots, but it's definitely, in many ways, an improvement to, um, what's it called, uh, to the lighting of Elite Dangerous. There are some places where you're like, yeah, maybe maybe you shouldn't have done this, but uh, or, or maybe they shouldn't have done this, but they did it anyway, and, and I'm okay with it. Since this is basically a New Year's stream, I feel like we should maybe um, take a moment to think about 2019. Okay. Because in 2019, I, well, first of all, I hope I can keep going and making my university thing work well. Um, but I also look forward to having a lot of fun with you guys and playing some neat games and stream and making some good podcast stuff. Mm -hmm. And just having a good year with my friends and family. Yeah. I can definitely, definitely see why you want that, and, and I'd want that too. Um, that being said, I, I want to work on improving the quality of the stream, um, asset-wise. Um, like, I didn't get all the things completely done uh, that I wanted to finish up. I'm still boggling at trying to figure out how this transition stuff um, could potentially work. Um, I did reach a conclusion on what I want to do and how to do it, and I did it, and I got the timing wrong, so um, turns out this transition is not going to have to be a second long, it's going to have to be like four or five seconds long. Oh, wow. Um, which is... Well, it's because I want a, a sort of flyaway transition. Um, and the flyaway section is, in in essence, not part of the transition as such. But the transition happens early before the flyaway, so it should be okay. Okay. I mean, I could show you the current one I have, but it goes way too fast. No, it's fine. Um, I was thinking something. Oh, right. Uh, there is one thing I want more than anything else for 2019. What? For my ankle to get better damn quick. <laughs> yeah. Because, oh my God, 
I you want to hit the right shoe angle. On my foot. I want to wear shoes again. Oh God. It, it you you really definitely need to get God. the right angle. Oh my God. At least just just don't get the left angle. You will be left behind. <laughs> I mean, the, the whole right angle thing alone is bad enough because I twisted my foot by getting the wrong angle on my foot. <laughs> so you got the wrong angle on your angle on your foot. Yes, exactly. And that's why it hurt. Did, did you have a uh, ankle fish at the time? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> that's, an, that's an angler fish. Ah. <laughs> Uh, well, that fished an angle out of the year. God damn it, guys. <laughs> this is now a pun stream. Oh. Somehow we managed to last all the way until the end before we started punning hard. Well, I guess this is punishment for uh, 2018 being a relatively weird year. Yes. Especially after the uh, destructiveness of 2017. I don't know why, but, but in my memory, 2017 is, is like, that was a really bad year. Let's not have that again. <laughs> well, one thing is for certain. I cannot punt anything right now. Ah. Well. Well, I can, but I shouldn't because that will hurt a lot. Once a pun a time you could? Yes. Back before the, back before the 12th. Back when my angle wasn't weird. Back before your angle got a leg up on you. I mean, I'm supposed to keep it at least above waist height or preferably above heart height if I can, so... Well, at least it that's sort of the right has angle. has a leg up on me now. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't leg it. I mean, I cannot leg it. That that would require running. I cannot do that without hurting. A lot. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't do it. That is also why I am not doing it. <laughs> well, um, I have. I'm trying to make some plans on a trip next year to Ooh. to uh, Hakata. Ooh, back to Japan, I see. Japan, I cannot. Be gone for long before I miss it again, 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 and again. You're a Japanophile, you know that? <laughs> I don't know how that works. It just means he really likes Japanese culture and things. Okay. And that is quite true. Well, yeah, it is. On an so, entirely uh... separate topic, I have a friend who's, um, I can't remember, was it Hokkaido University? I think she's. In? And yes, she's Danish. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's sort of weird to sometimes message with her and be like, "How are things over there?" Oh, they they had a really weird Christmas dinner that wasn't the even weirder typical Japanese Christmas dinner. I can't remember what it is right now. Let me just find it. Hmm? KFC. Sushi? Yes, KF chicken and KFC chicken and um, what was it? Oh yeah, strawberry shortcake. <laughs> okay. KFC chicken and strawberry shortcake is uh, their traditional Christmas dinner. So, I'm very glad I'm not Japanese because that sounds really dull for Christmas. Okay. Well, I we actually had an. Because, uh, I wonder how the atmosphere would be. Of course, if you just say KFC, you get just KFC. But if you bring friends and family and have a great party time out of it, then it's different. It's than still just KFC, KFC chicken for Christmas. <laughs> like, why would you do this? Well, one thing I do know about KFC is that they have, um, what's it called? Um, seasonal themed um, meals. So when you get there on Christmas, you actually, you, they they actually make it make it Christmas e themed uh, in your order, if you want it to be. But it's still fast food chicken. True. That being said, uh, we have just got a new KFC in Denmark. Oh. Yeah. How many do you think we have? Uh, three. 
Yeah, I think it's in that ballpark, uh, unless one of them closed. It seems a bit weird to start up a new one then, but I guess they might be hoping to expand? Uh, yeah. I don't know anything about the the success level on on KFC. So, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Very much hmm. Such hmm. I can't wait for Hakata. Of course you can't. You nerd. Nerd. Well, all of us are. Yes. It's it's a little hard for us to not nerd. Um, the school I was thinking about going to in Hagata uh, was um, going to learn some uh, Keiko. Oh. Okay. oh. What what is what what is that? I'm I'm not Formal in the Japanese. Now. Formal, so it's a uh, business level. Uh, oh. Japanese, so I can speak it in formal so eh. formal business formal yeah but the problem is that um the two courses that, that they had it was one was um cultural and the other was keiko so it's less culture okay oh. you really uh, like those classes with the culture the culture but um I, I was thinking about if I can be there more weeks so I can uh, do cultural things alone. Yeah, perhaps. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. Bonsai. <laughs> of course. Uh, bonsai build? Depends on what bun you want to say. I don't know. No, 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 no. It's, it's just Mario. It's fine. It's just what? Just Mario. M Murio? Yes, you remember those bullets? Which ones of them? The, the flying bullets in Mario? Oh, the, the bullet bills? Yes. In Japanese, they're called Bansai Bill, but ah. they have been... Incorrectly translated as bonsai bell. Okay. And uh, bonsai is the whole uh, neat little tree you <laughs> keep very neat. So, uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, I don't know, guys. I am at the end. I have been there for a bit. Okay. Freeze has Please. anything to add? No. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen... He's just a busy work person. <laughs> yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for dropping in, dropping by, watching, listening. I'll, I'll put this one on YouTube soon, I guess. I have, I have uploaded the other podcasts to YouTube. I just haven't published them yet. Because in that sense, I'm, I'm a bit of a dog. Like, I uploaded to YouTube, then I forgot to publish it. Because, uh, why? But yeah. Either way, thank you so much for dropping by, and uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Um, and I next hope year. you have a good 2019. Yes. And I hope you have a safe and uh, fun New Year's party. 07, and uh, good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.